I just got off the phone with Barbara from DFO with the latest Fraser River update on the run stats. Okay. I also just received the latest specific salmon commission update. All right, let's get at it. Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton. This is Robert Ryerson. And here's the seafood news for the week of September 14th, 2015. July 4th, 2016. April 24th, 2017. July 23rd, 2018. August 20th, 2018. In this week's episode, we take a closer look at the sockeye salmon run in the Fraser River. This 400th episode of the 3 Minute Market Insight is brought to you by GQ Freight. GQ Freight, an industry leader, recognizing that real-time GPS tracking of your refrigerated truckload shipments is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. GQ Freight, excellence delivered on time, every time. Today marks the 400th episode of our 3-Minute Market Insight, and what a journey it has been. From interviewing fisheries scientists, to getting undercover interviews, to interviews at the NOAA's headquarters. We get you the seafood news that can't be found anywhere else. Thanks again for making us the most watched seafood news in the industry for over seven years. After the initial opening on August 8th, gillnet fishing in the Fraser was open for sockeye salmon on Wednesday and Thursday last week. The Pacific Salmon Commission Fraser River Panel issue, issued weekly reports on the status of the fishery discussing sockeye migration and run status. Observations show good sockeye migration over the past week with warmer water temperatures than normal. According to the Salmon Commission, over 2 million sockeye are accounted for in the Fraser River. The pre-season pre forecasted run size is 13.98 million sockeye salmon. To the catch date, the catch to date for both Canadian and American waters was over 1.1 million sockeye in the Fraser River. We spoke about the Fraser with a local processor in British Columbia who indicated many of the sockeye are heading around the outside of Vancouver Island. Two outcomes of this trend would be a larger Puget Sound fishery and less MSC certified fish available. British Columbian sockeye salmon is recognized as MSC, but sockeye caught in the Puget Sound will not qualify for MSC certification, which often comes with a price premium. Current pricing on Fraser River headed and gutted sockeye is in the mid fours on four to sixes, up about 50 cents from the last sockeye salmon opening in 2014. Puget Sound salmon pricing on 2 to 4 ounce IQF headed and gutted sockeye is nearly $4 a pound. We have seen little to no offers on new season 6 9 headed and gutted sockeye salmon, but 2017 inventories are in the high $4 range. Although harvests were slowed during last week's opening, Fraser River fishermen are confident in a bountiful sockeye fishery this year. And finally, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for IQF Sinbad Atlantic Cod Loins. We have various sizes of skinless, boneless, twice frozen loins available in Boston for $3.60 US dollars per pound. This is a sort of price in the market that many analysts say is 30 to 40 cents higher. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.